special meeting of the Richard Peterson School Board to order. It is Tuesday, the uh, 13th of November, 531. And uh, they're at the uh, forum room of the uh, Richard Peterson School. And Rick Romero is uh, joining us from uh, South Dakota. Good evening, Dean. All right, uh, we have a roll call, please. Valerie Howe, here. Kathy Ingram, here. Joyce Iverson, <coughs> John Linder, here. Dean Miro, here. John Pettit, Anna Princeton, here. Abby Hay. Thank you. Uh, first, I'd like to welcome our new board members that are uh, here today, uh, sitting in. So, uh, congratulations. Welcome. We uh, glad to have you on board. Uh, next on our agenda uh, will be the adoption of the agenda. Any changes or corrections? No, there are not. For a motion to approve? I know. Motion by Princeton. Is there a second? Second by Ingram. All those in favor of adoption of the agenda? Signify to say aye. 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 No. Uh, motion carries. Uh, next, uh, please join me in the uh, Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Adopt the resolution canvassing returns of votes, uh, school district general election. That would be on page two. Um, you need to read the resolution, I guess. Uh, Our past practice is that we have not uh, been required to read those. Okay. So um, I guess I would invite the board to look those over, and if you have any questions, and then go ahead. Motion to. Anybody have any questions on the uh, uh, voting? There were a lot of writings this week, so that, that was interesting. So we have separate, so we want to report your terms and then one for the group. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Hearing no questions, I would ask for a uh, Motion to approve the resolution um, canvassing returns of the votes of the uh, school district general election. Tom Lowe, Ingram. Ingram, is there a second? Second. Second, no. Any further discussion on the uh, adoption? Item five. Just a question. Sure. Uh, no, you don't have to. Okay, so uh, uh, we'll have a roll call vote to the uh, uh, yes uh, for approving and no for uh, not uh, approving. So, do we have a roll call, please? Valerie Howe? Yes. Kathy Ingram? Yes. Joyce Iverson? Yes. John Linder? Yes. Dean Miro? Yes. Connie Princeton? Yes. Motion carries. Moving on to item six, adopt the resolution canvassing returns of votes of uh, school district special election report. This would be uh, page 13. This one uh, was the two year term. Chris uh, Grimlin was uh, received the most votes, and there were a few ratings. So, anybody have any questions on? This resolution. Uh, I look for a motion to approve uh, the uh, special election uh, results. Iverson, make that motion. Iverson, is there a second? Iverson, second. Any further discussion? Again, uh, a roll call vote uh, yes approving and no uh, uh, disapproving. Valerie Howe? Yes. Kathy Ingram? Yes. 
Joyce Iverson? Yes. John Linder? Yes. Dean Miro? Yes. Bonnie Princeton? Yes. The motion carries 6 to 0. Next uh, will be adopt the resolution authorizing issuance of certificate of election and directing the school district election clerk, Laura Hahn, to perform other election related duties regarding the general election. <coughs> Those are listed on page 14. We authorize uh, certificates of election on behalf of Grace Iverson, Kathy Wade, and Jeff.
Now we can move on to item 10, the superintendent search update. I think most of you, or all of you, should have gotten a, uh, some uh, email traffic regarding uh, uh, Director Benson's uh, discussions. You've had some more discussion. Anything you want to add, Bonnie? Um, well, not necessarily. I've got a few things about the brochure, but you know, I don't know if we're talking about that first. Or... Oh. Each of you should have received in front of you this evening a copy of the final brochure and brochure. Excuse me. And again, my thanks and appreciation to uh, Lisa Lawson for the time and effort she has given to this. Uh, very striking, and uh, Lisa has graciously accepted all the uh, recommendations and tweets that have been given to her, and without any blaming, has uh, followed through and making those corrections as presented to us. So, again, thank you, Lisa, for your hard work on the brochure. So, I think most of the questions center around uh, the timeline. If you look on the back of your brochure, uh, announcement of the vacancy at the last meeting, you indicated that you'd like this to take place on November, uh, on Thursday of this week, which is November 15th. The application deadline is January 11th, and then the screening was to take place the week of the 22nd. Interviews the week of January 30th through February 6th. And then the second interviews and uh, approved candidate on um, February 19th, which would be a special meeting, and then the regular uh, monthly meeting for February is February 25th. So. I think some of the questions that uh, surrounded the concerns uh, presented from MSBA were um, the January 30th to February 6th timeline. So, I, I'd like to speak to that if I could. Sure. The uh, interviews. Yeah, MSBA, their concern was just they recommended doing uh, a shorter, like we're going to do interviews on these two days. And I would suggest January 31st and February 1st. And, and the reason is, is twofold, really. One is for the applicants so that looking ahead, this timeline really is to help them prepare for, uh, just so they know, OK, those two days are when I could take call to have to go to Rushford. Um, but also, the other thing is that I don't know about anyone else, but um, I need to know kind of in advance when, when we're doing these. And I, I can't take a whole week off if we're saying that interviews can happen any time that week. So, for me too, and, it, and I, it's it's important that all seven board members, you know, they're the ones that really have to be in these interviews. So I think um, for me it would be better to narrow it down to two days, and um, two days that we could all that we agree that okay we'll commit to being there for those two days. And then I feel the same way about the second interviews. We've got a week there too, and again I could probably take two days off if I know in advance, not a whole week. And I would suggest February seventh and eighth there. I'm certainly open to other suggestions. I will say it's a little unusual to have the interviews on a Friday evening, but. Uh,
for that February 19th meeting approved candidate. I think a better verb there might be select candidate because we're also letting the public know that's the meeting where we will be actually uh, making the decision publicly. This is who we're going to, this is who we would like to have someone selecting. Um, okay. And then at that point, we, that's when the negotiating team can begin to negotiate with that person and then we approve the contract at the next time. So let me just uh, reiterate so we're on the same page. So the interviews then will take place on Thursday, January 31st and Friday, Jan uh, February 1st. Right. With uh, second interviews taking place on February 7th. And the or just the seven. It's not to say that you'd have to bring all four. If you you have four, if you settle on four finalists, it's not to say that you need to bring all four back. Maybe you want to bring the top two back. So you could easily do that in one day. Right. And it's not to say even for the first interviews that we won't have just four and maybe do them all on the Thursday if that's if we offer them both days. Sure. It's just that we need to know in advance that we should kind of clear our schedule. Correct. And I, I fully understand that. Very appreciative of that. So, would you prefer then one date, February 7th? Yeah. Or the 8th? sure that you need to make that a part of your, according to what she shared in here, and this was the conversation that Bonnie had with Sandy, that you didn't need to make that uh, a part of your timeline, necessarily. I think the second interview she said we should, but not the site visits. Oh, okay. You don't have to make that part of it. All right, then I misunderstood that. All right. <clears throat> Yeah, you're right. There, we do not need to include site visits. So, we'll, with your permission, then we'll uh, eliminate that from the timeline. And I think the, the Lisa's already done that. So, thank you. Working on a date here for the second interviews. Seven to eight, Johnson. Okay. The next question that came up was uh, if the board is inclined to uh, uh, include the salary uh, in your in this packet, that you're, the brochure that you're going to be sending out. So I've given you a handout tonight with uh, some information that was pulled together, and um, one of the area superintendents is uh, updating this, so uh, you can see what the salary base was for 17, 18, 18, 19. If you look at the bottom, uh, you'll see the averages down below. So, if you wish to set that. This, these uh, salaries are all public information, right there. They will be, it will be, yes. Well, yeah. I mean, and this is, yeah, I superintendent mean, salaries are public information. I mean, every, I mean, School employee salaries are public information. Well, I, I guess I might suggest just having this as part of it. It's a potential candidate's uh, an idea of what the salary range and benefit range are in, a, in the uh, southeast Minnesota area. And I just, just thought it gives them something, you know, then we're not really focusing on any one superintendent or job. I mean, we're, we have to have some flexibility and, and uh, just gives them some idea of what to look at as well. You're not promising a particular so you're saying add this whole page to the brochure? That's the thought, yeah. 
of the OBOT. So if she's okay with accepting things electronically, we probably better indicate that. That's a good suggestion. We we'll certainly can add that. And, we'll, and since she's our pick point person, they should, they should go to her, but Chuck should still take the inquiries. Okay, so we'll make those changes. We'll uh, be sure to uh, include where the, the district application can be found, and we'll list that on our website, because, um, and we'll give them specific instructions. Because sometimes when you get on a school website, it's what, what next step do you need to follow, so we can be clear on that. And then we'll be sure to add Laura's email address. Thank you for those suggestions. What about the salary expectations? Do we, do we we love. Lisa had a question about uh, listing our school board as well. It's like realizing that we're changing board members. So she was wanting to know from the board, do we feel like she should list the new board because it would be the new board in place by January 11th? I think that yeah, I think we should put the starting date for the new board members. Yeah, I think there's room there where she could slide that up and she could she could uh, indicate which ones you're going off the board and which ones you're going on and effective uh, their start date. Oh, I think what Joyce was saying was just add the like, school board as, as of January. January 1st and then just oh, include the okay. board at that point. Yeah. Sure. Thank you. I'm sure she's thinking uh, there's not that much space to keep <laughs> I'm not saying it out loud. But yeah. <laughs> when you start to get nervous when people want to have lines. Yeah. Do you think we should list like their starting year through current, or how do you want to, like for the new year, are the new board members? Is, is that necessary? Mm -hmm. just, just don't list any years after the, the new ones? Then? I don't think that would be necessary. So take the years off? Yes, the consensus was to take the yeah. years off. Okay. I'm doing it as we're talking. Right. So board members, do you have any questions about the process? You guys will be involved in this. Lisa, any questions? Good to go? Yep. Okay. Uh, there is one other thing that uh, I would uh, bring before the board this evening in regards to MSBA. And they have a fee to go ahead and advertise the position. That fee is uh, $500. Um, I would uh, ask the board to give serious consideration to uh, utilizing the services that MSBA offers. Um, in conversations with Laura, and just the time factors involved and being able to get this out within the to everyone in the timeline that we've established i, I think it would be uh, in the board's best interest to utilize the services provided by msba at that fee of five hundred dollars what do they when we get for that they just Put it on their website? No, that's for that's just for the email. They'll email it out to oh, okay. the But they will put it on their website for free and they'll put it on here for free. Just an uh but an email. I'm sure they have an email. Yeah. So for you know just the time factor that would be involved in that would be uh, quite lengthy. And so again, I, I think it's in your best interest to utilize that service. Do we need a motion? No, you have to, you, you need to put that into a motion. I'll make the motion that we utilize MSBA's uh, email distribution service for $500. And I will second the motion. Second. That means that uh, we don't have to do the mailing from our team. Okay, that's good. Sure enough, I need to do it. Do the motion. 
question is that we approve uh, the fee for MSBA for uh, posting and putting out the email on the superintendent hire. Anybody have any questions on that? Did you hear that, Dean? Yep, I'll try. Okay. Any, uh, any other comments? All those in favor of approving the $500 fee to MSBA? So how about saying aye? Aye. Opposed? No? Motion carries. We have another issue on the superintendent uh, survey. Um, we're going to. Uh, I have extra copies of more of it. They're in our pack. So the the interview, uh, yeah. In your packet are the inserts for the superintendent search uh, qualification survey, and uh, you were asked to pick your top seven, and we uh, we have plans to send this out to our employees as well. And we have a time frame on that. I would say probably tomorrow. So okay. we don't have three days. Do you have an extra copy for Jeff? And, uh, oh, absolutely. Yeah, I have all my copies, so we can. I already have one. Okay. <laughs> you already run yours off. You guys can at least look at them. You'll get you'll get it electronically if you, can, Jeff. if you would be kind enough to pick your top seven there, Jeff, and give it to Laura before you leave.